Hello, I was wondering if you might be able to tell me where to go. I have an interview for the administrative assistant position. And that's what you're wearing? For an interview? What's room was it? You don't mean anything more of scale? I mean, your whole look is like you're trying to pity us into hiring you. Oh, <laughs> no, uh, that's not what I'm doing. Now, um, can you let me know who's holding the interview and I can go find them? You could use some highlights too. This is a nice office. Some designer app to be more in line with our typical dress code. Um, I'm sure to pay is fine, but designer clothing isn't within my budget right now. Now, I don't want to be late, so can you tell me who I'm supposed to meet with or direct me to someone who can? Fine. It's with Mrs. Doyle. She asked me to come grab you, and I thought I'd handle the pre-interview. Needless to say, so far I'm not impressed. Hi, it's Jess, right? It's very nice to meet you. Thank you, Ms. Doyle, and it's very nice to meet you too. Tip, thank you for showing her in. Let's get to know Jess. Sure, I'd love to. I was just telling Jess how much we value our employees here. Oh, that's very true. We like to think of ourselves as one big family, and we really support our employees. Respect at every level is key. That's great to hear. So, Jess, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I have four years experience as an administrative assistant. Um, the last place I worked was a tech company, which was very fast paced. So I'm used to thinking on my feet and anticipating team needs. So why did you leave that position? Looks like you have worked anywhere months here on your resume. Were you let go? Uh, no, <laughs> nothing like that. I'm happy to provide a reference. You see my mother became ill and I had to take time off to care for her. She's much better now, but I, my job had to go to someone else. That is very admirable. Your mother is very lucky to have you, and I'm very glad she's better. Thank you. One thing that would concern me is if you're always putting your family before work. What happens if your mom has another health crisis? We wouldn't want to be left in the lurch if another personal issue come for you again. To my... I think it's clear that was a one-off event. I've never been between jobs before this. As you'll see on my resume, my work is very important to me. I just thought I mentioned as Mrs. Doyle's had trouble finding someone reliable for this position. That is true. So, just um, what would you say is the biggest strengths that you bring to this position? Well, I definitely have an eye for detail and don't let anything fall through the cracks. I also don't need much oversight. You show me something once, I've got it down. Great. So what would you say are our biggest weaknesses? You know, actually that is a very good question. It would be helpful to know where you might need a little extra support. Um, I guess my biggest weakness is that I can come off sort of serious to new people I work with. I just really love the work and I get so engaged, but I do plan to try to prioritize getting to know my colleagues. Hopefully don't spend so much time socializing. Do a track where you're supposed to be doing. Now, Jess, you did see the salary range for this position. Yes, I did. And respectfully, Mrs. Doyle, I believe I would be at the top of it. I think that's quite a reach. Usually you start at the lower level to you prove yourself on the job after a year or two. You know, Tim, that is not always the case. For the right candidate, I'm happy to offer top of salary. We need someone experienced. As I said, I'm happy to have you reach out to my references who can verify that I'm highly qualified for the role. I'll check those out. Jess, it was very nice meeting you, and we will be in touch soon. That sounds great. Thank you, Mrs. Doyle. You know, I'm not so sure about her. She just doesn't seem to really get it. This is Jess. Hi, this is Mrs. Doyle. You interviewed last week for me for an administrative assistant? Yes, it's very nice to hear from you. First off, though, I need to let you know that my associate Tim did not think you were a good fit for the company. 
Go. Um, I understand. Wait, wait. <laughs> wait, no, stop. Don't, don't hang up. I don't agree with him. I'm only letting you know because there may be times when you will be working with him. Working with him? Yes, I would love to offer you the job. Like you said, your references were impeccable. And I'm happy to offer you the salary that you requested also. Thank you. Uh, I would love to accept. Wonderful. And don't worry about Tim. I mean, honestly, between you and I, he has some friends in high places and he thinks that that makes him better than everyone else. But for the most part, you'll be working with me, so it really won't matter. That's good to know. But just be aware that his opinion doesn't intimidate me. It's inspiring, actually, to truly wall. I like that. Okay. I am really looking forward to working with you, Jess. And we will be in touch soon to work out a start date. That sounds great. Thank you again, Mrs. Doyle. You bet. Bye-bye.